Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Wait until they hear the word Gini coefficient which is the index of measure to what extent the distribution of income is among people who live in a certain country. Why were they quiet, Mr. President, when others were looking for colossal amount of dollars that were stashed away with a nephew or a niece when there was hunger in the country? Why didn't they comment? Where were they? Yes, they may not understand that inflation is measured through graphs. They may not understand many economic vices, factors that are looked at, and they may not understand that it's only the economy, that can, the, 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 the improvement of the economy that can put food on the table. For as long as the economy is left to what it used to be, I can assure you, Mr. President, life would have been more painful today. And it's true that life is painful. Where were they, Mr. President, when those that were there before us put us in a debt trap? Where were they? And because you are a man, and as a matter of fact, a serious man, you have not ducked from the debt mountain that they created. You have faced it head on. Since you took office, you have not recorded any default. But when those that were dishing out money to them defaulted, they were quiet. Where were they? Where were they when the, the country was going down? And so I would like you, sir, to keep your head high. You have lieutenants, many such as myself, and those that you chose to work with that are going to defend you and these ones who are here mr president most of these are committee members from the wdc's the world development committees the constituent development committees civic leaders mayors council chairpersons councillors they are here they are helping you to govern i'm quite sure i'm quite sure mr president that going on this trajectory, these noises will start dying down. They will start dying down. Because we are on a transformational path. And Rome was not built in a day. And I'm quite sure our people understand that. At this juncture, Mr. President, I would like to end by saying, those who want to make inflammatory statements and they have decided that they're going to use the pulpit to make those inflammatory statements. Those who also want to be politicians with their salt, before they are inducted, they must be taken to Rwanda and visit the museum where they have custody of the results of inflammatory statements. What happened? It starts like a matchstick, it runs into a fire. And because it's painful for some of us, who knew how we used to live before, and now we know how our friends are living now with abundant freedom, it pains some of us to understand that someone can get up and use Nshima as a way to incite people. It is not fair. It is simply not fair father something where I've forgotten the name. It is not fair. It would be nice, yes, if you want to join the rank and file of politics. Come along. Let's deal with each other politically. The fact of the matter is that your friends left this country in a total malaise. At this juncture, Mr. President, I'm sorry sometimes things get to be emotional because someone is playing with people's lives. I would like to take a very rare opportunity now to request you, sir, to address your people. Um, it is my rare honor and privilege. 
Mr. President, to ask you to address the gathering. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sabuino, thank you very much. You may take your seats, please. You may take your seats, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You may take your seats. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's get on with the business. We know where we are coming from, that in the past, UPND constituencies received the little 1.6 million, maybe once or twice in a five-year term. But today, when we disperse CDF, my instruction to the Minister of Finance is that when we disperse CDF on a particular day, today is Wednesday, a portion of that CDF for that year, on a Wednesday like today, will be delivered in all the 156 bank accounts same day. No segregation. No segregation. Because where Zambians are, that's where we'll take the services. Because this money belongs to them. It doesn't belong to someone or doesn't belong to a particular political party, except that it's a political party that makes those decisions. And therein lies the importance of electing the right political parties so that they can deliver such equitous development to all the citizens in the constituencies. That matters. That is important. It is also important to acknowledge that when we took office, we inherited government, the CDF was only 1.6 million kwacha per constituents per year. This vehicle, as the Minister of Local Government said, is 1 million kwacha. So in the past, it would have meant that those constituencies that received money for that year, they would have only bought one vehicle to monitor nothing. One vehicle to monitor nothing. Today, we buy a vehicle like this to monitor projects worth 27.3 million kwacha. Therefore, we have work to do, as the minister said. It's very important that citizens understand that it is a vision of political parties. It's a vision of leadership that will make a change in any country around the world. When you hear a country X has developed, check the leadership, check the political parties in those offices. You will find that they are very serious and they believe in work, not playing around. This is a disease we have suffered in this country for far too long. We must heal this cancer. And this is the test of the pudding that we are healing that cancer. So, we increase the CDA from 1.6 million to 28.3 million kwacha per year per constituency. Do your numbers. May, let me remind those who don't like graphs and numbers. You can't run a country without numbers. You cannot run a country without numbers. Then you are a joker. You are just a joker. Because you cannot run a country without knowing that if you borrow too much and you consume that money, you get into a debt trap. You have to calculate. You must put most of that money into revenue generating. When you revenue generate, you can then support CDF to a tune of 28.3 million kwacha. That's how it works. You need to know the numbers. Please. 
you need to know the numbers you need to work out what the weather is likely to be before november so you can plan properly and as the drought comes you do need numbers please otherwise people will perish i was on the farm when someone was preaching talking about graphs and numbers all we were showing is that this is how we have moved from independence to where we are now and there's something wrong there which we need to change that graph shows us that we have not been making the right economic and social decision now we must make the right decision we made the right decisions by introducing cdf at this level 28.3 million quarter and you will see that this number these graphs will show by 2026 you will see that there will be desks in classrooms no child will be sitting on the floor you will see that maternity wings are there and there's water you will see that the children who were not in school will be in school you will see that there are enough classroom spaces that is what numbers do if you know how to use them but if you fear numbers we have introduced free education we can send you back to school and learn some more our duty our duty is to deliver services to our people to deliver Chitukuko, Zuelo Pili, Weantanshi, Lusumpuko. That's our duty. And we must consider this as a national rallying point, unit of purpose. This is where we need to work together as a country when it concerns development like this. Projects like what the Minister of Local Government talked about. Buster is decided at the local level, never done before. Even in our time, all the bursaries were decided in Lusaka. Now, some bursaries are decided at the local level. Skills training at the local level. This is what our agenda must be as a national agenda, as a rallying point, as a cry point, if you want. You can use any words you wish to use. This is very important. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.